Hello guys, how are you doing? Happy Sunday to you all. It's a beautiful day and it's a day that the Lord has made. So what are we going to do? We have to rejoice and give praise to God. Okay, in that same vein, let us share a word of prayer to open the service. Alright, close your eyes now. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for a beautiful Sunday. We thank you for this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and give praise to your holy name. Thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence once again. We thank you for our families and friends. We thank you for all our activities. All through the week you've been with us. Up to this time of the year, even during this pandemic, we thank you because you've been with us. May your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. As we go further in this service, Lord, as we praise your holy name, may you come down and inhabit in the praise of your people. In Jesus' name mighty name we've prayed amen all right guys it's time to give god your highest praise i hope you're gonna do that come on let's go dance to god hello children are you ready to give god praise are you ready to give god praise high five your sister high five your brother make some noise Victory, yeah. Almighty God is giving you victory. He is giving you victory. Oh, all the days of my life I praise you. Everything that I have now, you gave to me, Baba. Lord, I say for your love, I'm grateful. Jesus, you love me plenty, you came to die for Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nish. Search around, there's no one else like you. Lion of Judah, you're the mighty man of battle. Oh, yeah. He is giving you victory. Come on, wave those hands. God is giving you victory. He is giving you victory. Wave those hands. God is giving you victory. Jesus every day na shakara it double double heavenly blessings Come on lift your voice Come and see what come and see what come and see what the Lord has done for Has it done it Jesus, oh yes, say double, come on, put those hands up, say, uh. let me see you lift your face, Give him all the praise, give him all the glory. Hallelujah. 
Jesus every day na shakara. Say double. Wonderful, wonderful. It's so good to be in God's presence. That was why David said, I'm glad when they say, let us go to the house of the Lord. All right, it's another time to learn from God again. And if you can remember, 
What have we been talking about? Can you remember? We've been talking about people God can use. And last week we talked about how God can use you despite of uh, your weaknesses. And, uh, and our major character has been Peter. You see uh, how uh, Peter was uh, t the timid type. Uh, he even denied Jesus. How many times? Three times. You remember, right? <laughs> uh, even uh, in, in the midst of a little girl, he had to deny Jesus. That, oh, I, mean, I never, I never, in fact, I don't even know that name. You can imagine. All right, today we're going to be talking about Peter's work for God's kingdom. Yes, Peter's work for God's kingdom. Uh, you, you, you already know how Peter was and how he later became a very, very vital tool in the hands of God. Now, you remember that Jesus, when he was here on earth, he, he, he told Peter that he was going to be instrumental in God's hands. Yeah, he, he, he said, and I quote, Peter, you are the rock. In you, I will build my church. And that was exactly what happened. Peter became a very, very vital instrument in the hands of God. In the book of Acts chapter 2, I'm, I'm not going to read this, um, the, the, the full scripture. I'm just going to tell you uh, a summary, a brief summary of what happened. You, we, we see how Peter, Simon Peter, preached to those people. And over 3,000 of them gave their lives to Christ. Can you imagine that? 3,000 in one day. That is what God can do. God can use anybody, anybody. It doesn't matter how weak you are. It doesn't matter how strong you are. In fact, he's most concerned about those who are really weak so that he can, God is not looking for those that are strong. He's looking for those that are weak, those that are broken. And that is the kind of people God uses. Uh, Peter, actually, you, you, you already know how he was. And this time, the Holy Spirit came on him and he spoke boldly. He spoke boldly to the crowd. And those people had no choice but to surrender their lives to Jesus. May the Lord's name be praised in Jesus' name. In the book of Acts chapter 10, we see how Peter had a vision. And in the vision, God was telling him how he's going to send him to the Gentiles. Okay, there, there was actually a man named Cornelius. He was a Gentile. And normally, the Jews and the Gentiles, they don't, they don't agree, so to say. They don't uh, uh, mingle together. You understand what I mean, right? So, the, the, the Jews see the Gentiles as people who are uh, uh, not so in tune with the God they worship, so they segregate. You know it's not good to segregate, right? Okay, that, that's, that's by the way. So, this was what was happening. But now, God was showing him this vision. In the vision, there, there were uh, animals that were said to be unclean, unclean animals. And they, they came directly from heaven, down. And a voice from heaven, which was God's voice, said to Peter, Peter, kill and eat. <laughs> Peter, ah, Peter was like, no, 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 my Lord. How can I kill these things? These things are unclean. I can't, I can't really, I can't, I can't do that. This happened like three times. And God kept on saying, you don't call what I have cleaned unclean. You don't say this is unclean when it's coming from me. You know what God was doing? God was preparing him for the message he's going to send to the Gentiles. That was exactly what God was doing, unknowingly to Peter. 
And when he woke up from that trance, immediately they said, Peter, uh, there is a man, Cornelius. He's right, uh, he sent some people to come and see you. And Peter knew that, oh, that was exactly what God was preparing me for from that vision. Wow. And Peter followed uh, the men. He stayed there, preached the gospel to them, and prayed with them. They received the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine? Again, <laughs> they received the Holy Spirit. God used Peter tremendously. And if you are willing, if you are open to God, he's going to use you too. You know, when you call in apostles and you've not mentioned Peter, you know you've not really started. <laughs> Peter was greatly and mightily used by God, despite his weaknesses. Friends, you know, Peter's life never remained the same. Never remained the same when he met with God, when he met with Jesus. Jesus, first of all, told him that Peter, whether, okay, I'm adding this. Uh, don't say that's in the Bible. I'm adding it now. Peter, whether you like it or not, you will be a rock on which the gospel will stand. In other words, in you, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Peter, you are a rock. In fact, the, the name, that name Peter actually means rock. Jesus was actually the one that, that uh, uh, empowered him before time. And that, that, that was how he became very, very instrumental in the hands of God. Well, you may be there right now saying, oh, I am not qualified. I am not, I am not good enough. I, I don't think God can use me really. That might just be the voice of the devil speaking through you. Know this, there is nobody, there is nobody that God cannot use. God can use anybody. God can use a madman. God can use a, even, uh, you, you know, those uh, not so cool guys that actually harass people on the road. God can use them to, I know of a story, how God used those kind of people to save a little boy from drowning. So you cannot tell me that it was the devil that spoke to them to save those, then that little boy from, from drowning in the flood. God put them there in that particular time for that particular reason. So God can use anybody. So you're going to say to yourself now, God can use me and God will use me. You have to say that again. God can use me and God will use me. Amen. So, uh, for God to be able to use you, or for you to put, make yourself available to God for use, it is better to always be on His side. Even if God can use anybody, which one is safer? It's better to be on His side, right? You don't say, okay, since God can use me, let me just remain the way I am. Let me do the things I, I know that I want to do. You understand? You can't do that because at the end of the day, such a person might not or will not rather make it to heaven. The only way to make it to heaven is to stay firm in God, believe in Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior. That's what we're going to be doing right now. You, you might be there listening to me and watching me. You, you're saying you're in your heart, oh, I'm not sure that I am in right tune with God. I'm, 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 definitely, I'm definitely not doing what God wants me to do. If that is you now, we're going to say this prayer, and God is going to help you from now on. Come on, you want to receive God as your Savior? You want to receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. I'm sorry for the ways that I've lived my life. 
and I come back to you today. Take me as your child. I receive you as Lord. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are the Savior of my life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. What joy it is in heaven right now. Let me quickly pray with you. Father, I thank you. I thank you for your children who just said that prayer. I know, oh God, that the devil may want to claim their lives back so that they go back to the ways that, they, that, that, that you will not be happy with. Lord Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will help them. Let your spirit, oh God, always be with them and help them see them through in this journey that they've just found. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray for every other person, everyone who has heard your word today, that by your spirit, you will make them vessels in your kingdom. That, the, oh God, they will be world changers. They will not be like the rest. Lord, they will be outstanding. Everything they do, oh God, will give glory to your name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Their parents are blessed. Everything, O oh God, they lay their hands on shall prosper. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, children. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My dear friends, <laughs> it's so good. It was so awesome to be with you today. Very, 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 very awesome. I'm more than glad. Uh, I want you to continue like this. Keep hearing the, the word of God and keep doing what God wants you to do. And God will surely help you in your daily walk with him. All right, before we go, just before we go, let's take a memory verse. Like you all know, it's the same memory verse and it's taken from Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. And it says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. The Lord will use you for great works. And you have to make yourself available for him to use. Will you do that? I'm sure I'm going to do that. And I'm very sure you just said it. Yes, we're going to do that. All right, till we come your way again, stay safe. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful and splendid week. Bye.